Edelchips. I just gotta go for it. No more arson about. You looked like a man with a map that was upside down at the time, okay? <laughs> Love you both. It's about half when I smash them in spite of your ear. My own Ben Diketti. Thanks. Yeah. Get it done, then we ride. Yeah. Nosweta Ichigid Alex Jones Adui a Chroiso Canes I Gobre Basta Cymru. It's wonderful to be here at St David's Hall in Cardiff in front of lots of familiar faces, lots of excited faces. My pawb and barad i give no gir in web beyond Akanichwer Heno, or the Baratoi i thatli Hyoith or Dalent are draws film athleti of line Athiol Ir Camera. Leading with the most nominations is feature film Dream Horse. But also pushing for a photo finish in the film category are the autobiographical films Grav and The Trick. Television dramas, In My Skin, <laughs> Mincemeat, Life and Death in the Warehouse, and Er Amgiedva, popular, demonstrate once again the outstanding level of drama produced right here in Wales. And they're all chomping at the bit to take home a Bata Cymru Award. The factual categories feature some of Wales' most impactful stories, from Mothers, Missiles and the American President, the story of the housewives from the Welsh Valleys, who took on an incredible fight to stop nuclear bombs from coming to the UK, to murder in the valleys, which divided communities as the police sought to find justice. The work nominated tonight has truly had us gripped. We're also celebrating new and emerging talent, and on that note, we'll have a brilliant performance later from the phenomenal Macy. Ak Osnadu Hanin Vigon, while here to present the awards this evening, is an amazing array of talent, including Tom Cullen, Kiri Pritchard McLean, Callum Scott Howells, Alexandra Roach, Shuti Gatua, Tace, Morvid Clark, and Yuko Ali Roach, to name a few. Now, for those of you watching the ceremony on the live stream, hiya. You can also join us on Instagram and Twitter for more behind the scenes action. Now, sir, we saw our first award presenter doing the cha-cha-cha on Strictly last night, dressed as Gamora. I just hope she's washed off the green paint. Please give a fantastic welcome to Amy Dowden. Thank you. I think I managed to get the green off about 3am, but that's why I chose a green dress just in case. Anyway, the first award this evening is for presenter. And tonight's nominees have taken us around the Welsh border, shown us the innovative Welsh cuisine, explored the impact of the Ely riots and chatted under the stars. Let's take a look at them in action.
At wet kin in the cochin, we did the pressants back there. Rum, Roger Licker, D. Licker, Rum. Yes, well done. So I'm on a rum, tell you, I'm scratching in this one. If I'm a lassie, so. Yeah. You can see your cockles in back here, Jeff. Yeah, you're there. Yeah, you're there. Oh, the old. Hands and I. <laughs> Good that. Good Just sit your turn. Just sit your turn. Gain pair to Incovio at a Noson, or the Inor Plisman and Guaid, Mavel LA Drovena, a Hosrodna, Hovrenadion and Arawerag, or the boys in Tavli petrol bombs moun. Near heavily. Emotionally, I want to cross. So either problem. Right, are we ready? And the first BAFTA Cymru Award of the evening goes to... Chris Roberts. <laughs> Well, to be a Cychwyn in the videos and Cynarfon yr hygli bob yn awr dair efo best mates fi yn yr un Thomas yn y byth ymwelsyn yn eich BAFTA, ond... Ideal, yeah, thank you very much, it's a huge honour. Um, a to be a commiserations, i'r nominations eraill, uh, Elin, Jason a Sean, to be a... Um, Sy'n i byth allan i byth, ma'n nhw'n allan i ddod, dwi'n lwc chi'n allan i ddod, dwi'n allan i ddod, a siarad yn bwyd, a cwcliad yn bach yn bwyd, so... So, yeah, thank you very much, BAFTA, big love, Nathy Sess, with him paint in a bar, nice one. Our second award tonight is for Factual Series, creating factual content that is entertaining and informative can be a difficult balance to get right, but tonight's nominees have produced programmes that have given us insights into the lives of real-life people as well as real-life drama. Here are the nominees. When you put me up for adoption, um, I was adopted by a Welsh couple. Uh -huh. and I'm dad, sorry I had to do that. I perfectly understand. Mm -hmm. I yeah. need you to know that I perfectly understand. Okay? okay? Mm -hmm. It's absolutely fine. Over the next eight weeks, ten amateur makers will be transforming this empty house into the ultimate fantasy mansion. And each room will be themed on a period of historical design. I did say it was a doll's house, didn't I? A forensic review is to be carried out on the evidence which helped convict a Swansea Valley man for the murders of three generations of the same family. In October, BBC Wales Investigates raised new questions about the guilt of David Morris. Tan anim blwydd yn oes, dyma fyddwn i'n sydd dechrau sylwi, fi yn a sylwi, by the way, efo rhwng ei ddiet ddeg, hys dicofio, oh, nefo just interested, dyn rhywle, nefo gael suggestion ar YouTube, bath o signs, o bath o mental illness, o bath o'n ac, ar fi mynd mewn bath o rabbit hole wedyn, bath o gwahanol, gwahaniaeth between sociopathy, psychopathy, bydd ydy insanity, bydd ydy autism, bydd ydy depression, bydd ydy anxiety, bipolar, peth efo'n na, ac ar fi eventually cyrra fi ddiet ddeg. And the BAFTA Cymru Award for Factual Series goes to... Ysgolni i'r Marwyn. We 
mewn cofi, ond fi o lle deg, so Chris, cofi trwy, ieu. Um, diolch wedi awn BAFTA am y pobl na mi'n um, neidio felly. Diolch fwyd yn neb i'r plant yn ysgol mwy wyn, a meddwl am dan um, sut mae plant o hyn ymlaen yn mynd i ddiofa hefo yr um, fformar llywodraeth yma yn rhaid um, toriadau felly mewn ysgolion a plant yn mynd i fwyd llawd y felly. A mae yn bwysig bod ni fel cynhyrchwyr yn cael y cyfla i ddeud ystoria yma. Gaeddiwch yn arbennig i Ellen Rhys, comisiynu fi ac i'wrth gynhyrchu ddo esbydra. Um, heb dych chi Ellen, os o hyn, ni'n ddigwydd ddi ddiolch wedi awn ni Amanda am comisiynu neu lle cyntaf. Mae'r tîm cyfreithiol esbydra ac wedi bod yn wych. A diolch yn arbennig i Crazy Crew Darlin. Um, diolch fod i chdi arwyn, diolch am y gefnogaeth. A ieu, mae'n dwi'n ddim neis cael gwobr i'r gogledd, ond y fwyn y neb, plant bwyn y ffestiniog a thraw yn bwyn y ffestiniog, cymorthyddion bwyn y ffestiniog sydd ddim yn codi gyna arian a fod yn cymorthyddion a gwneud gwaith y meising, diolch fod iawn. Diolch. Thank you, Amy. Right, eh, y mlaen yn i i'r categori Nessa. Now, it's often said that the best kind of editing is the kind that you don't notice. But tonight, of course, we are here to notice and appreciate the skills of our editing nominees, both factual and fiction. I gyflwyno'r gwabre, please welcome the star of the new crime thriller called Wolf, that's filmed right here in Wales. It's Ukwele Roach. Editing factual programs can mean sifting through a lot of material to find that one small but important part which helps to tell a story. From celebrating our national treasure, Hugh Edwards, to spending a year on a farm in Snowdonia, our nominees tonight have put together some outstanding real-life stories from around Wales. The nominees for editing factual are... Hynod charismatic. A cother ti ishe. Either ve. De glod hori di. Die own! So then go die own. Other vel die on plus. I went through a slump when Steve dropped me from the team. I was taking creatine, I was spending more time in the gym, working on my guns and everything else, apart from, you know, instead of going and, and working on my pace and my speed, I put on a stone of weight in probably about two or three weeks, and it just didn't work. Over six weeks, more than 2,000 lockdown lambs are born on the family's farms. The majority without incident or alarm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And Marani Govyop, you will never, do we never BBC? From Glasgow, here's our science editor, David Chukman. My nephew did read this here when do we? Marani wink and you will never. I thought my nephew, I'm going to pause and ar dechre i raglenni. And the BAFTA Cymru Award for Editing Factual goes to Dan Young for Slam. bright up here. <laughs> I'm mostly used to being in dark edit rooms, so this is a bit strange for me. Uh, I just want to thank a few people. Uh, somebody called Craig Withercombe, who a lot of you in this room probably know. <laughs> Craig is the brains behind Slammed. He created the whole concept, and uh, this award really is for him as well, I have to say. Uh, he's simply the best storyteller I've ever worked with, um, a fantastic producer, and uh, I certainly wouldn't be up here without him. 
Um, just a quick few other thanks. Um, Richard Dole, fantastic editor who also worked on Slammed. Uh, Sean Rees, amazing researcher. Without Sean, we wouldn't have the archive in the series, which really made it come to life. Uh, Phil Chappell for his fantastic uh, drone work and camera work, really brought it out to life. Uh, Simon Jenkins for an incredible title sequence, which blew everyone away. And uh, Owen Thomas for bringing the soundtrack to life. Fantastic. Just, a, just an amazing team on Slammed. And um, lastly, I'd just like to thank my wife, Susan, just so supportive all the time and putting up with me talking about Welsh rugby for about two years. <laughs> it's not easy. And uh, thank you. And um, Slams 2 is coming your way in uh, January. So if we can ever get the edit finished, please tune into that. Thank you very much. Quelly, it's your award. It is. <laughs> Just testing. <laughs> and now we move on to editing fiction. These nominees are the protectors of actors' mistakes, of wobbly sets and technical failure outtakes, which is why they always get the best parking spot. Now, let's take a look at the nominees. Let's get started there. Dear DCI Collier. This is your team. What you're going to notice is that yesterday their average pick rate was uh, 100 items an hour. We like it to be 120, so a pick every 30 seconds. Pick. Obviously, we're going to need you to resolve this as a first priority. My hours in mind. Ah, oh, my hours in mind. I stuffed the gate. The BAFTA Cymru Award for Editing Fiction goes to Ellen Pierce Lewis for Landscapers. Thank you to Jane, Chris, Katie and all the sister Sky, HBO and South of the River for the opportunity to work on such an inventive show. I was just one small part of the incredible cast and crew who worked tirelessly through covid uh, I would especially like to thank Will for his generous collaboration and creativity, and Ed for his bold, playful script. And Missy Dachelf, and Goithiang Herziv, Lauren Squarman Stewart, Pam of Burlum, Dachle Burlum, Kavranga Annie Bernal, and Herziv. I can see lot or or on the company of NOPOV at Haliasin, and who are the company of Kanta, either the Griffia Laur and Abai. But then he have a heavy deal, even Haley, David, Kate and Nagarin, and for more Gabnogo, Casegra Wobber, Erko Van den Haard, Richard Dick Lewis. Uh, 
two for the price of one, Vanin. Dim just eat of us. Now, to present the next award, it's a powerhouse of a woman. She soothes us on classical, surprises us with hard hitting documentaries, and she's also a businesswoman to boot. Rochgroisemaur, Emilin Class. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, a sound team's day can be a rather frustrating mix of unwanted aeroplanes, barking dogs, ringing mobile phones, and uh, shirts rubbing against radio mics. Guilty as charged. But sound designers, sound editors, sound engineers, and sound mixers all work to evoke emotion and create atmosphere within a film or television program. So, with that in mind, well, let's have a little listen to the sound nominee's work. They square up for battle, the older crab takes the first swipe. And with his mace-like claw, he pins the young crab to the sea floor. And the Bath de Cymru Award for Sound goes to Dream Horse. Who's going to do the talking? <laughs> Joachim Bauer, thank you for the Academy. Once again, it's a, a real honour to be up here and receiving an award for the sound. What I'd like to thank a brilliant team from Bang Post Production. I'd like to thank Eros Lynn, Jamie Pearson, Catherine Butler, Darren Schlesinger, and uh, as well as the team here, who were all the, the mixers, sound recorders. Stevie? Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we never met. Yeah. The things happen at the other two ends of the process. <laughs> but uh, also our, uh, some other people that helped us out were Paul Conway, who did the aid, some of the ADR, uh, Sue Harding, Foley, Gareth Rees-Jones, Foley, Louis, Louise Brown, and Shane Tremlin, who all helped us out. So, Joachim Val, thank you. It's been a great honour once again. And uh, lovely to see you. Thank you. I also wanted to say Dioka Vaur. Hope I didn't spoil that. And uh, I wanted to thank my team for the location sound, which was uh, Tom Marquick, uh, Jordan Milliken, James Cooper, Nate Carver, Daryl Peat, and Jake Whitley, who uh, without them we wouldn't have had any sound. And these guys for turning what we did into an amazing soundtrack for a movie. I also wanted to thank my wife, who's in the audience over there. Hello. And uh, my kids as well, Christian, Xander, Benji, and also wanted to say uh, my uh, godson, um, uh, Zach Clayton, who I promised I would say thank you to at some point. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Well, a good writer makes it look easy, but, well, everybody here knows that it is the skill and dedication shown by screenwriters towards their work that takes many hours. 
many sleepless nights and many, many, many packs of Haribo. Tonight, we show our appreciation to the writers who take ideas and bring them to life on the page. Our nominees are... You've spent so long living for other people and just pretending to be something you're not. You don't even know what you want. I love you so much, Beth. I always will. Otin a fachoreor. Deor. South Podel, fel Rocky, gallu gorsef eich ar argadion i gyd. Fe'r graf sy'n siarn ein awr. A fe ma? I don't think we ever truly know one another. We stumble through life like clowns wearing our personalities like masks. Hiding our secret desires and darkest thoughts behind a performance. The BAFTA Cymru Award for Writer goes to Kayleigh Llewellyn for In My Skin. I've got some friends in. Let me tell you, corduroy is a very unforgiving material. I'm sweating bullets. Um, thank you, BAFTA Cymru, and thank you, BBC Wales and BBC Three, um, for believing us when we said the personal can be universal. Um, thank you to my favourite taff, Neris Evans. My incredible script editor, Andrew Ellard, I don't normally let him out in case people steal him, but he's here tonight. Um, Molly Manners, our director, you have my heart. Our casting director, Rachel Sheridan, or as I call her, the star maker. And all of our incredible cast, but led by the Gwyndaffs, Baby G, Gabrielle Creevy, Joe Hartley, Roger Mailer, Di Botcher. I can never thank you enough. Um, in My Skin is a very autobiographical tale. And so I'll often have people watch the show um, and say, so, so how did you go from that, that background um, to this job now in, in this profession? So I started thinking, well, how did I? And the first answer is, I maxed out loads of credit cards. <laughs> because this is one of those jobs where people just think you can work for free. And you're like... Bitch, I'm poor. I can't, I can't work for free, man. Um, <laughs> uh, so that, let's change that, everyone here. Um, but the other reason is, is my mum. The biggest gift she ever gave me was opening up the world of storytelling. She had four kids, two jobs, didn't have a pot to piss in. Sorry, I keep swearing. I'm poor. <laughs> um, <laughs> But every night, she took the time to read us a story. And then every weekend, she took us to Gabalfa Library. And she let us run around and fill our arms up with the books. And we're just buzzing, like, oh, these are free, are they? 
Um, <laughs> and they were free, free financially, but it was also a place as free of judgment. And what she did was she opened up all these other worlds to me, all these other ways of living and possibilities. And she inadvertently said to me, just because this is all we've got right now, I promise you, it's not all there is. And it was, it was the best lesson I, I ever learned. So thank you, Mum. And thank you, public libraries. I hope the Tories stop rubbing their bums on you. Um, <laughs> Team in my skin, I love you, I thank you. Mum, thank you for teaching me to hope. Oh, I love in my skin. But good luck following that speech as well to all the other winners. <laughs> and thanks to Mylene as well. Now, to present our next award, let's welcome a man who's more familiar with historical dramas than Shakespeare himself. From playing Anthony Gilligan in Downton Abbey to Thomas Simo in Becoming Elizabeth. Ruch Graeso Iran Hagail, Tom Cullen. Thanks, Alex. Um, the three films in the feature television film category reflect the passionate stories of truth, community, and family. Dream Horse explores an alliance who set out to raise a winning racehorse and win the heart of a community. Conspiracy thriller The Trick tells the story of the 2009 Climate Gate scandal, when the media storm undermined confidence in the science of climate change and grav the story of rugby legend Ray Gravel, who left an inspirational mark on Welsh sports and cultural history. Let's take a look at the nominations. You got it wrong. But, but those, those requests, they weren't genuine. Yes. The data was already... Done. But admitting that you got frustrated, that you could have handled it better, that's very relatable. Yeah, getting pissed off with a bunch of time wasters who want to prove you wrong. There's no shame in that. No data was destroyed. And that's exactly what you'll say after you've acknowledged what you could have done better. You say it then, and people will listen. It'll sound true. And the Buff BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Grav. Grav. speechless. I um, just want to say thank you to absolutely everybody um, who was involved in making this television film. Say a lot of thank yous to the whole cast and crew, especially Gareth. Um, for Owen for writing such an incredible script. Um, to Mark Evans for his incredible vision uh, for the film. And also to Mary and the girls for allowing us in to raise world and their world. Because obviously without them, 
none of this would have been possible. Um, and I just want to say thank you to Bramwell as well and Garant, my business partner in this company, our first film. Hey, good. No, you get his luck. <clears throat> And um, obviously, Bramwen's experience and knowledge has guided us on the way as well. So thank you. And I know Bramwen wants to say a few things as well. So thank you so much. So, so, so much. Raymond Gravel from Money the Garreg was an inspirational figure. And it was him inspiring us from day one to this point now actually that kept us all going. Mahon and and film ma mahon and film um see the Gwedi Stari Ve Akmarwa Burma and Voinai Neb I Grav Diochrav. I just want to take this chance to say support Welsh theatre because there's amazing stories out there. We need, to, we need to get back out, we need to go back and see plays because that's where there's amazing work going on. Thank you so much for this. One of BAFTA's remits is to identify and support new creative talent. Now this year, our breakthrough category shines a light on some outstanding talent. Four inspiring individuals who have brought new, fresh and creative voices to our screens. So Karada is about showcasing the whales that people don't usually see. It's about like, informing um, our communities that they are seen, they are heard, and they are important to the narrative that we, we are currently creating. We wanted to showcase music of black origin, mainly because of the big impact it's having in the UK at the moment. And there are so many artists that are doing incredible things. They've been played in LA globally. So those are voices that don't necessarily get seen uh, in Wales. I don't think we really understood the impact of what we were making until it went live on TV. Especially for the people that are in it, they had a lot to say in terms of their Welshness and, and growing up. On the first showing, my phone was just going off. It was, it, it had touched so many people. Um, so many people thought it was important. And not only people that were part of my community, who essentially who it was for, but for the people that necessarily had never thought about how important making sure the Welsh language um, and shining light on communities was, was. To be nominated for a Breakthrough Award is insane. When I found out, I just couldn't believe it. It was kind of just like, a, we are here, we've arrived. Mince Meat is a comedy drama set in the northwest of England, and it's about a mum and a daughter who've got quite a strange codependent relationship. So I was really interested in exploring nationalism. There's lots of people who've kind of hold those views that are kind of like damaging to society. And I was quite interested in the sort of psychology of kind of holding on to the good old days and not quite living in the present. And I felt like that was quite similar to the idea of hoarding and, and keeping stuff very close to you. So that felt like a really, really exciting weird specific way into the topic a way that would kind of give me a really character driven kind of close family dynamic a really significant moment for me in terms of making mince meat was just getting the chance to actually kind of have an idea and then be trusted and then make it i really remember being with the producers and we were kind of like doing lots of problem solving on a board and it just felt it just really suited my brain and i just felt really good about it i was like this is definitely what i want to do to be nominated for Breakthrough Cymru means so much. I was really shocked, it really caught me off guard. Wales is my chosen home. I've been here for quite a few years now and I adore it. I love living here, I love working here.
portrait of Kay is like my first film. I've known Kay since I moved to London, actually, in 2011. I moved in next door to her. She's a film buff. She loves cinema. She loves the movie stars. Her house is like this incredibly cinematic. And she'd made, you know, all these incredible and bizarre home movies. And I always wanted to make a film together. But it took me, like, I think eight years before I shot a single frame. I would say to myself, oh, well, you have to shoot it on 35 millimeter. You know, you have to do the visuals of Kay's house justice. And then after eight years, I just decided I'm just going to shoot it on my phone. We just shot the film for just three months, just the two of us. I only ever felt consistent doubt about whether this was, A, my story to tell, B, whether it was good and entertaining to anyone else uh, and whether I had told it in the correct way. At the time I was obsessed with John Cassavetes. His idea of you just film things that you love and that interest you. If you love the subject and the kind of the material enough, other people will also love that. But I'm, you know, beavering away in this kind of small, lonely way and so for the film to be kind of accepted and, you know, you know nominated and celebrated in this way is like, it's more than I could have ever hoped for or imagined when I started making it. A dying to divorce follows uh, a lawyer called Epek Bozkurt and she defends uh, the victims of domestic abuse and femicide in Turkey. And I followed her and her cases over five years. Uh, and in that time, there was unprecedented change within Turkey. It went from being a more liberal society to a really repressive one. I worked with two brilliant Turkish producers as well and we would always be discussing, you know, how how it was in, impacting us personally, hearing these really sad stories and these injustices that were really endemic within a country. But I always just take the point of view that the women in the film who were actually living it were so inspiring, so positive, moving forward, fighting. I just never really felt lost in the sadness of it. I just felt uplifted by who they were and what they were doing and their energy. Some of the things I filmed were so amazingly powerful and quite beautiful, really, to see people speaking and walking after not being able to walk and not being able to talk. I think, you know, those things really moved me about, you know, the human spirit and what it's capable of. It's brilliant to be nominated. I was so delighted when I found out. And, yeah, the film did take a long time to make, so it definitely is a breakthrough. <laughs> Well, here to present the Breakthrough Cymru Award is a woman who has broken through in her starring roles in Casualty and recent hit BBC drama Crossfire, Shalisha James-Davis, and joining her from The Pact, Peaky Blinders, and the soon-to-be-released film Enola Holmes 2, it's Abby Hearn. It's wonderful to see incredible new talent making such impactful work. And we have the honour tonight of announcing the winner. So, the Breakthrough Cymru Award goes to... Chloe Fairweather for Dying to Divorce. Um, I'm so delighted to receive this award and of course I worked with like the most amazingly passionate team, a brilliant producer Sinead Kerwan, with Turkish producers Uzge Sebzeci and uh, Seda Goce, um, uh, editor Paul Dosage and Andrea Cuadrado, composer Andy Cowton, uh, executive producers um, Natasha Dak um, and Christina Asquith. Um, and, of course, an expanded production team, my mum and dad, my partner Jonathan, my daughter Maya, and my brother Jack. And uh, lastly, I would like to dedicate this award to the women in the film whose courage and grit gave me all the inspiration and determination I needed to make the film. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
Our next award is for short film. Short films are great opportunities to tell compelling, fresh and unheard stories and provide the filmmaker the freedom to share their unique vision. This year, the nominees have created some groundbreaking films. Let's take a look. I'm 59, married with a grown-up geek, still working in a factory, dreaming about what I should have done. I could have gone to art school, been somebody, been a, a contender. Now it's the bloody change, right? I look like shit. I've lost my looks, my figure's gone, and to cap it all, the other night I caught Ivor watching one of those twerking videos. Well, are you sure there's going to be no one about? I'll be down here loads. All right, let's get this over with. Fuck! Quiet down here, is it? Talk to get the mobile. Brilliant. And the BAFTA Cymru Award for short film goes to Affairs of the Arts. Blimey, this is so <laughs> exciting. Um, thank you, BAFTA Cymru. This is uh, just very exciting. And uh, I'm Joanna and did all the, no, I didn't do all the drawing. It's a team, it's a team thing. And I've actually got <laughs> terrible well, taking all the Thank you very much. No, <laughs> I did all the drawing and this is Les and he wrote the script. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, We've got a little list here of uh, people. I'd like to thank um, our wonderful team. Uh, Marcy Rojas, uh, Mia Rose Goddard, James Nutting, Elliot Che, Francine Breslin. Oh, I can see. I was going to take my glasses off so I look more photogenic. <laughs> oh, I did it in extra big type. I'll take mine off, shall I? <laughs> he can't see because he's got some glasses on. Anyway. Um... <laughs> I'm shy. <laughs> um, and uh, the wonderful um, Brendan Charleston and Mally Ann Rees. Uh, we've got lovely the Gellert boys over there, fantastic. Yay. We've got the Bang Lot, um, uh, Tinopolis, um, BBC Wales, the NFB, it's only six minutes, and uh, um, the NFB in Canada, um, SLC, um, and I. Uh, and our wonderful daughter Paloma, who I'm sorry, she's put up, we're married, and she's had to put up with us all her life, you know. <laughs> anyway, she became a vet. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we'd really, really love to, um, the most important person is Mena Trussler, who did the voice of Beryl, Absolutely. because yeah. Yeah. she's just fantastic. So, um, We'd like to dedicate this to the wonderful, wonderful Mena Trussler. Uh, we love you. So. <laughs> That's it. Cruiso. Yeah. Thank you for your support. I will always wear it. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks to BAFTA, Cymru. <laughs> Thank so you. Much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I love them. And thank you as well to Shalisha and Abby. Well, my son, I'm in the eye, I'm going to go ahead and hear, no, do I? Oh, dear. I'm going to start to back on my 
Liw Asparkli Dod, our next guest here to present the Entertainment and Photography Lighting and Fiction Awards, can be seen on Live at the Apollo, 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown, and Celebrity Mastermind. Please welcome one of Wales's funniest comedians and serial podcaster, Kiri Pritchard McLean. If there's one thing we have all needed lately, it's to be entertained. And we've certainly seen a rich vein of Welsh talent being beamed into our homes over the last year. So, let's celebrate the programmes that have taken us to new places and introduced us to new and interesting people around Wales. Garchini Gael Kipolog ar enwebiadau. Mae lot o pobl yn meddwl bod ni'n hen ffrindiau. Ac er bod ni'n parchu'n gilydd, so ni'n nabod yn gilydd yn dda iawn o gwybod. So, ni'n mynd i newid na? Ni'n mynd ar road trip. Yn y raglen arbennig hon, bydd pedwar cysylleiaeth brwd yn dewis eu hoff lwybr arfordirol. Hello, baby! Gan arddangos golygfeydd gwefreiddiol... Oh, 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 wow! Dolly Drummer, dwi'n dweud â bwyd byd i dre. Bwyd next level o bethau'r gwlad gwahanol efo llwyth o'r cofi lyw. A, dwi'n mynd i ddannos i chi sy'n maned y recipes ma adra fyd. So, gwrch chi drio o bar gwahanol dros y rwyl, eh? Dwi'n mynd i'n cwbl o ddyrnodau o wersi Cymraeg a chwrs ar lein mae pob seleb wedi gael. Bydd sialensau o bob math yn wynebu yn chwe dysgwr dew. A fydd yr eirfa'n llifo? Hawdd! Neu'n brifo. Ar ynillydd y di, bwyd byd Epic Chris! <laughs> wow, 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 wow. So bad, more sorry, Glenn, at the... Um... So, I'm going to have a little bit of speech of Vera, so I'm going to have a deal. So, um, wow, yeah. Uh, deal, Kunta, and Erin. So, my brother from another mother, come here. Deal, what? So, uh, right, we deal with S. Pedorak, our legendary Ellen Reyes. So, yes. Come on, come on, come on. And so, my deal with Muya is Amy, partner with the biggest thanks to also Amy. My partner, Tanwen Lachlan, my kids, got a one on the way too. So, uh, yeah, Diolch, thank you for supporting me. Um, yeah, and I'm just very passionate about Welsh produce. You know, I don't think we should just eat it. Uh, we should celebrate it. We've got the best produce in the world. Then we've got a beard. I have it. Massive love with Kiri Pritchard, my mad star. So, we've got a rehearsal with Kiri. My Kiri and friend, uh, friend special down. So, yeah, Diolch around. Uh, yeah, die bath on, so yeah, ideal two for two. Nappy clean sweep back. <laughs> nice one, Diolch. And there you There you go. 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 you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you When he said we had a special friendship, I just want to clarify, we're not sleeping together. That's... <laughs> Wales is small, but it's not that small. <laughs> and we're special friends, and I've just found out he's having another kid, so it's not that special, is it? <laughs> Give us a WhatsApp, mate. Um... <laughs> As we stand here on stage, illuminated by a hundred different lights and surrounded by cameras strategically placed to make the stage and us look our best, it's easy to see how a good camera angle and the right lighting can make the evidence of a long day's work and a late night simply disappear. Gadochini gael cupolog ar yr enwebiadau.
never been me. I've been Elsie's daughter, Dennis and Sasha's mother, or Daisy's wife. But watching you race, I'm John. New York and over, Pertang Henry. We didn't have any kitchen on din. Let's go in Guasquera de Bosch, boy, say, Mars or Honey. Tigraf. Initiated a D, Will Baldy for the Pact. I think the first thing I should say is thank you to Wales for being such a beautiful landscape to shoot and for the weather, which always adds a challenge. Um, and thank you to Little Door for, you know, being like pioneers of good TV. And thanks to Pete the writer who just brought such like a beautiful story for me to shoot. And thank you to BAFTA. Cheers. Thank you very much, Will. And best dressed goes to Kiri Pritchard McLean. Uh, next, now let's have a bit of a break from the awards or the performance and you're in for a real treat. She's a 21-year-old singer-songwriter from the Valleys and the past two years have seen her perform at Soon and Hub Festival and she's worked with Grammy-nominated writer-producer Daniel Evans. Rwch groes o cynnes iawn i Macy. Because I'm sitting in the back of the I'm watching you kissing her How could you do this to me? And suddenly I feel like a criminal As I'm watching the curtain fall How could you do this to me? Yeah. I can't wait till the morning Cause tomorrow's so far from me And I should be holding Your body under the sheet Instead of lying through your teeth, baby, your eyes Tell a thousand words that you're trying to hide And now they're crying over me You did me wrong, now suddenly I'm everything you need and I'm moving on You're begging me to stay when I'm a leave, leave, leave I gave all my heart to you for nothing Yeah, we could have been something, but Trying to change my mind When it's you that blurred the lines, yeah You did me wrong, now suddenly I'm everything you need and I'm moving on You're begging me to stay when I'm a leave, leave, leave I gave all my heart to you for nothing <laughs> Yeah, we could have been something, but I don't want your love again, no, I'm good, I'm good If you think I'm Thank you. 
Nogodin brilliant. Day I may see Dilch Vaur. It's time now to welcome our next two presenters. Our first is Miriam Isaac, the face of the new show, Moina Dafts, in which she'll be working with the likes of Gemma Collins and Johannes from Strictly. And joining her tonight from the popular television dramas Keeping Faith, Flam and Crife, it's Mally Ann Rees. Hello, Bob. Um, in Gwobr Nesab, you photographed faithful. Trying to capture real life through the camera lens is extremely difficult. But the nominees tonight have managed to portray an extraordinary array of diverse stories using their outstanding camera skills. Gadachinigal Kipolog, Aradan Mabiadai. Hon no the way through all I've gan love with Cavressel serial killer by the Miska Guitha Wellwood Erioid and Bretain. Depression is such a it's a slow process and something that just kind of creeps insidiously in. You don't know it's happening. Um, that's the strange thing. Was it wrong that the police didn't link these cases sooner? It's easy in hindsight to maybe raise criticisms, but other than the stabbing of lone men under cover of darkness, there was nothing else to directly connect these cases. Tim Davis for the long walk home. Huge honour. Thank you, BAFTA and um, BBC Wales for giving us the privilege to be here and to make the film. This was our first documentary for television, our background's in commercials, and this is really going to spur us on to carry on. So thank you so much. Mae'r categori nesa ar gyfer newyddion a materion cyfoes ac amserol. Often dealing with difficult subject matters and socially important content, the makers of these programmes give current news stories a heart and bring them to life on screen. Dyma'r enwebiadau. From love... You're gonna blow me a kiss. Huh? To loss. I was heartbreaking. And I just I couldn't do anything. And after months apart, the joy of being reunited. How are you? You well? And then I'm telling the jury how me and the police didn't get on. All the time I said this. The police fitted me up. I told you this, I told them that in the Crown Court. It was just bullshit. It was fabricated, made up by South Wales Police. Dyma story'r cymunedau sy'n cael eu targedu. A hefyd fel o'n i'n clywed bod pobl fel mynd o'r sydd yn cymryd y brechlyn, byddwn ni'n methu mynd yn feichiog ar ôl. Y myddygon ar y rheng flaen. This is a war against Covid and we are winning. Andrew Jones intended to kill his friend all along after discovering he was having an affair with his wife. Armed with a rifle, he lured the unsuspecting Mike O'Leary to an isolated farm where he shot him in cold blood before burning his body and getting rid of the evidence. Gwych. 
Mae gwobr BAFTA Cymru am newyddion am y teroin cyfoes ac amserol y mynd i. Coronavirus, a care home story. Jeez, I don't really know what to say. Um, it was an absolute privilege um, to be able to give people a voice during what was a, a really difficult time. Um, I'd like to say thank you to Anwen Care Home, to the staff and the residents, um, and the residents' families for allowing us to, to tell their story. I'd like to say thank you uh, to everyone at ITV Wales who believed in this project from the very beginning. I'd like to thank Lindsay Green, uh, who happens to be my wife, but also a camera operator um, in the programme, to Lewis Jones, another great camera operator in the programme, and to Hugh Parry for the most beautiful edit. Um, thank you very much. <laughs> Nessa Madani Vai Wobber, Raglen Blant, a Collier Agwacht. Presenting the next award is Emily Burnett, the winner of the 2019 BAFTA Children's Award for her role as Charlie in the CBBC drama The Dumping Ground. And joining her is Macy. of creating children's television is sometimes overlooked. Educators, babysitters, entertainers and cultural teachers, children's programme creators often combine these important roles into each and every show. Let's take a look at the programmes which have entertained children across Wales. A nice lamb in, does he? Do you know them a lot? Dim nawr. O fe fydod lam nend am war. Oh, dim yn ffansi o fe heddi o ddi. Ma, hi di mynd. Di mynd? O di, o fe'n dost â leukemia. Cancer. O'r diwedd o fe'n i wedi cyrraedd. Ac mi oedd ernest ar ganwys yn saff. When I meet the Welsh kids, it's going to be a bit tricky. I hwyl a helyn tefo ffrindiau newydd. They're escaping. They're escaping. They're escaping. A chael cipolwg ar sut brofiad oedd i i filoedd o blant ddod i fyw i Gymru am loches o byrglon y rhyfel. Planio noson allan efo'r gent i'r sgipo'r lawr lôn. Wel, bach chi di dod i'r lle iawn. Croeso i'r bennod diweddara o flachlwch, gyda fi, Ragnell, a weithio mam, Gwen. And the BAFTA Cymru Award for Children's Programme goes to Hey Hanes. Holy smokes, I was convinced we weren't going to win. That's brilliant. Jochen Vaurian, Jochen Vaurian, Ichi Gied. It wasn't my intention to hurt that cat, but it was looking at me funny. Oh, sorry, it's the wrong statement. I'm... <laughs> sorry about that. Um, really excited, Jochen Vaur, BAFTA. Um, 
talking about Esperec, uh, Sean Roberts, and Sean Geraint, uh, Eroswin, my co-producer, and Hara Darren, my partner and, uh, and co-writer, um, Matthew Glyn Jones, and Lynn Stray, and Igid, going to be here in Thomas, and Igwaith, Dir Vrachelid, Adar Hanes, Joe Google Translate, and McGuire, and Sean Aaron, and McGulloggy, and Mails Balls, and Midnight Sausage Rolls. Yes, in Becky, and in Igoli, and Downis, and Kumni Da, Sharon, and Savior Gavriskir, I am Quill Diggin. Thanks again, Google Translate. A crew we geed, and we're ready to stray on Hennod, Echel Geishel, and Steve Webb on the camera. Thanks for pressing record, but. Thank you very much. Of an idiot, an adbening at Actorion, he geed, and an wedding at Actorion Evank. Uh, the young actors that were in the show that made the show uh, so amazing. So I'm going to name them individually. I may have lost, uh, left some out, but Mabli Clow, Lisa, Amoy, Hedid, and Hara Clowach, Caleb, Gwernan, Kate, and Lisa, Aisrieni, Havrid, Duid. Doch again, he, uh, Google Translate, I'm Duid. Vivach, I Chwarefan Bach. And um, Dweid, a Cavle, Hannes, Cymru, I Blant, a Vin Gobithio, Gathuni Garimlan, I Neid Hani, a Chasnu Credi Burhuna, and Boisig, Boisig Yawn, I Neid, um, Gan in Bodin Kalin, Bodhi, Gan, uh, um, um, well, neither Dweid, and uh, you know the score. Get the Welsh history out there, boys. Um, well, where does he, Bodhani, and Aved, Champagne, Athan over Eskid, Osis Yenis? So, uh, pop them and I'll drop them. Diolch yn fawr iawn i chi. The next category is for makeup and hair. The nominees this evening have helped on screen talent transform themselves into unforgettable characters. Let's take a look at their impactful work. shopping centre in the middle of the town. This will, well, this will bring jobs and money to Carmarthen, and I think we should all get behind it. Uh, where in the middle of town? The Lyric Theatre. If you lot are good enough to own a bloody racehorse, so am I. It's a tenner every week, Kirby, you pillock. The BAFTA Camry Award for Makeup and Hair goes to Claire Williams for The Pursuit of Love. <laughs> Unfortunately, they are unable to be here this evening, so I'll make sure that they get this award. Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> Diane Weir Claire. Uh, now, amongst all the celebrating tonight, it's equally important that we pause, reflect, and pay tribute to those who have sadly lost in the past 12 months.
Wrth gwrs, rydym yn cyd yn deimlo a'u teulu oedd eu ffrindiau a'u cydweithwyr a neu colled. A'u condolences to families, their friends and colleagues for their loss. Am ser nawr am y ddau gyflwynydd nesaf, please welcome the BAFTA Cymru winning Ron the actor who broke our hearts in It's a Sin, Callum Scott Howells. And joining him is an actress who first came to our attention playing the young Margaret Thatcher in The Iron Lady. She's now starring in the tense drama filled in both English and Welsh, A Golai. It's Alexandra Roach. Nawr, rwy'n siwr ein bod ni gyd yn gallu cytuno nad oes dim byd tebyg i ddrama y feilgar. And tonight's television drama category is brimming with unresolved mother issues, illicit affairs, coming of age struggles and reasons why we shouldn't complain if our parcel delivery is late. <laughs> Let's take a look at the compelling dramas in action. Think of a job, but I can't. Well, that's a first. You've had 11 minutes of idle time this shift. Megan, I promise you, I'm trying my best. My back is hurting so much, I can't even think straight. Sorry, this is your best. Really, this is your best. Why are you doing this to me, Megan? Don't tell me you don't know what that was. I saw the stuff in there. That group of hers are the ones that shout at my dad on his way home from work. I... No, I've done, Jane. I thought you liked me. Everything you said, I, b I believed you. It's not me whose house is full of leaflets about having you deported. No, it's, it's not about ones like you. That was nasty. Nesi fe yr lles yr amgeth fe ac yr lles yn heili. Byd ych yn gadael i neb newid ych anes chi. Chi bu efe neb arall. Chi a dim ond chi sy'n gwybod beth yw'r gwir. Ar y nesli ddew, In my skin. I brought the other one up as well. <laughs> I said to him, I don't want to win one. Give me two. If you're going to give me anything, give me two. I don't want one. One for each tip, we say. We call them the BAFTA bras. <laughs> oh, no, I've sworn again. Thank you so much. Um, this is incredible. And here comes Gabrielle Creevy, <laughs> Olivia Southgate, <laughs> Stefan Rodri, <laughs> Andrew Ellard, Joe Randall Cutler, Okay, I just named the ones on the end. I also want to name Roger Mailer, James Wilbraham, <laughs> Sabagal, <laughs> Christopher Sabagal, for God's name, Poppy Lee Fryer, Aladab Stefan, Laura Checkley, Rachel Sheridan, Molly Manners, Sophie Francis, Neris Evans, Di Botcher, and loads of others. They're the reason this tiny micro budget show looks sexy. Looks expensive, doesn't it? It wasn't. Um, thank you. That's all from me. Neris Evans wants to speak to you. Thank you. Hello, I'm the executive producer, and I just want to say thank you to Kaylee, really, because 
all these people poured their heart into this show, and it's because of her beautiful writing. It's about the braveness, brave, brave, braveness, bravery. bravery. Thank you. I'm very nervous. Um, English is my first language. I never guess. Um, she is so brave and so generous to share this story with the world and we had such a response from people who saw it and saw them themselves reflected. I've never been more proud to work on a show and I think everyone feels the same. Um, we, we're so lucky, the, the script spoke for themselves and look at the cast we got, the most extraordinary bunch of people who all loved uh, and we've become a family basically. So I just want to say thank you very much to the BBC to um, BBC Wales and to BBC Three. We uh, couldn't be more delighted to have made this show for you, you and in Wales, so thank you. Documentary makers explore a large variety of subject matters. They can show you the extraordinary stories of real people or open your eyes to issues and topics you never knew existed. Tonight's nominees have created some hard-hitting documentaries featuring heartbreaking journeys through tragedy as well as the defiant human spirit. Ofyn siwrna te ddechrau grwm o fi yn ifanc iawn. Ac yn un ddigon hapus i gael yn dal yn y rhwyd yna. Ond ni ddim yn gwybod pa mor sinister oedd y trap o ni ynddo yn mynd i droi. Invading the base was a serious criminal act, but a surefire way to raise the profile of the peace camp. The purpose of the going into the sentry box was to get arrested and to be able to, in court, discuss those weapons. Could have gone to prison for 10 years. Around one in four pregnancies end in miscarriage in the UK. But somehow, it's still a taboo, and many people don't understand the impact it can have. This girl is just so just broken by it all. You just don't expect this to happen. You're so unprepared. Under questioning, Amir Owen admitted mutilating bodies. Ar blas. <laughs> Diolch fath da Cymru. <laughs> Diolch i Llyn o Swyn ac i Esbyd o'r Ac. Am sticio efo ni trwy y broses hynod hynod o hir o greu ymyr ddrwg. Diolch efo di ynnyr i'wch gynhyrchydd yr Aglan. Senni wythio diolch i'n partneriad ni. Karen, Lenid, Christina, diolch i chi. A math o'n i ddi flanu bod bynnau hyn i fynd i saethu pethau. Diolch i'n partneriad ni. Hirts ar y degau. Sylw i'n cydioch i eilir. Dyma meddwl... ...pan ddechreuon i'r prosiect yma dair mwynaf yn ôl. Dyma meddwl ddeud eilir dal yn disgwyl fwrs yfan saethu GV is one. Ond mae o'ch chwarae teg am yna hyn am ond sgidia ill-fitting diolch i fi. So diolch i eilir, a sori. A wedyn ar 
nothing personal. It's like a deal here. Um, um, I'm there. I don't know. I call Fiz. I got a very grey. I help you grey. Well, this guy's my organ of a deal here. Good. Well, only them and Barrett are my clip to it, Anna. Uh, now, I'm Sir Am Wobber Arbenig Yawn, Glober Shan Phillips, which is presented to a Welsh individual who has made significant contributions in either major feature films or network television programmes. Here to introduce the award is the first person to have held a head of comedy role at both Channel 4 and at the BBC, and has now co founded comedy production company Bofola. Please welcome Shane Allen. Hi. Thank you very much. Um, and this award goes, also goes to In My Skin. Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> they haven't had time to get back to their seats. Um, just get used to this because uh, being in a room full of strangers huddled together for warmth is what winter's going to be like. So <laughs> this is the future. Um, tonight's recipient hails from Milford Haven. I thought I would get something. No? <laughs> Tough, tough crowd. Apparently at this point they said uh, most people haven't won their categories and the room turns quicker than Liz Truss. So <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be tough. <laughs> um, Annabelle, uh, I'll try again. Ready? Here, let's see if we get this. Tonight's recipient hails from Milford Haven. <laughs> Pembrokeshire guys, the Joneses are in. Brilliant. Um, uh, her her um, Creative Journey has led to a very hugely successful and fertile partnership with co-creator Charlie Brooker and the worldwide phenomenon that is Black Mirror. Now, I suffer from a terrible affliction, and I can't pronounce certain words. It's called being Northern Irish, and Mirror is one of the words I can't say, along with Tile, this is what you have after a shower. It could go on, um, but after this, I'm gonna say reflective glass for the word Mirror, just so you know that Mirror's not something I can do. Anyway, there can be no greater mark of originality and cultural impact than when your show, your show title becomes a byword for all things dystopian and nefarious. Um, marking Annabelle's exceptional career with the Shan Phillips Award recognizes her role in defining and expanding the horizons of what British satire can tackle, both in comedy entertainment and in, scripted, in the scripted sphere. From her early days on BBC's Weekly Wipe, uh, show, that show pushed satire from the kind of smug enclave of chin stroking into populist, um, a populist palette. Um, the yearly wipes followed as a must see, end of year treat, and so too did the acclaim and awards. A BAFTA, no less, and a TV Quick nomination. The biggie. Um, 2008 marked. <laughs> Thanks, Gary, that was sweet. Uh, 2008 marks the first foray into scripted with the miniseries Dead Set a comedy thriller which um, charted a big brother house in the grip of a mini apocalypse, uh, a zombie apocalypse. And that was when I had the pleasure of seeing Annabelle and Charlie, their intellectual jousting and their relationship form. And her rigor for the art of storytelling, her disarming wit, her wicked sense of humor, and the whip smart quest for originality that resulted um, in a series that got a BAFTA nomination and was E4's highest watch show of all time at that point. Um, from there, we graduated to Channel 4 with black reflecting glass and breathed new life into the anthology series, which had been presumed obsolete in the new um, age of the, uh, of the box set, an on-demand world. And that cut to me having to explain to a newly installed head of the channel that we were spending a large proportion of our budget on a show where uh, the first episode would be the prime minister was being blackmailed to have uh, live sex with a pig on television. And um, it didn't go down well, uh, that conversation. A uh, look of bafflement and disgust and the immortal words, uh, can I be clear, nobody is uh, F-wording a pig on my channel. <laughs> um, but ever tenacious and persuasive, Annabelle soon swayed, swayed the room, swayed everyone, and so a franchise was born. Um, Black Reflective Glass is a, a staggering distinctiveness, won an international Emmy in 2012 and uh, its move to Netflix resulted in it winning the outstanding television movie for three years on the row uh, for Emmys, which was unprecedented in 2017, 18, and 19. 
which is an extraordinary achievement, um, what show off. Annabelle's uh, discovering and championing of new talent from Daniel Kalua to, Daniel, uh, to Diane Morgan continues to launch careers and to define and reinvent and set the bar for British satire as can be seen with BBC's Conk on Earth uh, and the Netflix end of year shows. With such a track record, you'd um, a never ending quest for perfection. She should be appalling to work with, very grand and uh, up her own arse, but actually, her good humor and emotional intelligence get the best out of people. I think it speaks a lot to Annabelle's essence that she's asked a barely intelligible old mate to deliver this when she could have had someone glamorous like a Jodie Foster or a Michaela Cole doing it, but um, I can only apologize that that's what's happened. Um, there's a flashing light at the back of the room which I think a bulb's broken, or I think it means I've got to keep going on, yeah? I mean, if you insist. Uh, I just wanted to say Dialk, Dialk, to you guys, thank you very much, and to say, it's a Northern Irish in me, and to say uh, we're going to have a VT of some notable people who are much more eloquent at marking Annabelle's career than that shambles. Here we go. <laughs> Hi gang, I'm Charlie Brooker and you're watching Screenwipe, a programme all about television. Trust me, outside it's a bad idea. How bad? Oh, it really hurts, don't it? Oh, I've used the wrong end again. If I keep my little assistant down here, that's all right. Good. Lieutenant Cole, welcome aboard. Trust anyone you meet on the internet. So, what is it you guys want to talk about? What's this for? Sean Gavachiade Annabelle are Enisha Wobber and Benny Kenno. We worked together 10 years ago um, and took over a, a dilapidated ex teacher training college on the edge of the M25 and inside it built this high tech set with black mirrored walls. Got a cast that included Rupert Everett and this unknown called Daniel Kaluuya. And we weren't sure at all if anybody would watch our strange show about kids cycling nowhere fast on exercise bikes. Ten years later, Black Mirror is a global phenomenon. And you and Charlie Brooker and your relationship, you've gone from strength to strength. And I'm thrilled that tonight BAFTA Cymru are celebrating your fantastic success and talent. I'd watch it with such great passion. To the same time next week. Congratulations, Annabelle, on this deserved award. Um, that's a good honour. They give it this a special, it's a special round, BAFTA. Um, uh, well done. Uh, and I'm sorry I can't be there in person. Um, BAFTA did say I could record a congratulatory message, which I'm doing. And because it's Welsh BAFTAs, I'm going to try and do part of it in Welsh. Bear with me. Um, which should mean um, congratulations Annabelle on this uh, award. Hope you have a wonderful evening. I apologise if I mispronounced some of that and inadvertently declared war on Wales. Stick us in hyperwarp and let's fuck off somewhere. Annabelle Jones is one of the greats. Uh, kind, generous, exacting and scrupulous. I've had the good fortune to work with her as a writer and uh, and I can tell you her attention to detail is beyond and her, her need to tell a story with exactitude, with truth, um, is remarkable. She is a kind soul, I've seen that a huge number of times and I think it's so wonderful um, that, that she's been awarded this prize. You want a cookie with that? It's on the house. Sounds awesome. <laughs> huh. 
<laughs> See you tomorrow, JJ. Uh, Annabelle? Hello, Annabelle. Um, I just phoned you to say I've, I've heard uh, that you've been given an award and uh, I, I'm, I'm so excited. I uh, just wanted to say congratulations. Um, uh, what I would ask though is could you put this phone back on? Because it hasn't worked since we stopped uh, doing Black Mirror together. And it's really annoying. Hey! <laughs> congratulations, Annabelle. Uh, I can't imagine a better person for this award to go to when we worked together, the whole shoot uh, was quite mental just because of how much we had to film in such a short space of time. But I just remember that every time you were on set, you put everyone at ease and there was like a sort of sense of calm that came over the whole set. So thank you very much. Um, hope you enjoy and celebrate. Who's doing this to me? I know there's someone there. Who's there? Who are you? We're going to be a hit factory, like Motown, but for computer games. Hi, Asim Chowdhury here. Congratulations, Annabelle. It was amazing working with you on Bandersnatch. It was a truly unique and interesting interactive experience. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm sending all my love, and I'd like to give you... Congratulations. Well done, and cheers. Mm. 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 See, I got that down in one. What did I learn in 2021? I learned that nobody learned anything in 2020. We done here? Mm. I'm done here. You? Huh? Please join me in welcoming to the stage the Celtic sister, the one and only Annabelle Jones. Feel free to stand, make it look spontaneous. everyone. Um, Shane says I'm not grand and then I come on wearing this Catherine Jenkins number. Who do I think I am? Um, God, sorry, I'm, I'm slightly overwhelmed by that BT. That's um, wonderful. Um, uh, this award obviously honours the work of um, so many great people on and off screen. Um, I've worked with so many great people over the last 20 years. Uh, it would be impossible to thank them all individually but I'll give it a go. No, that's a joke. We all need a drink. Come on, it's late. Um, what can I say? Um, yes, but there are a few special people I need to thank. Um, firstly, my long-term collaborator, Charlie Brooker, for all the fun that we've had. Um, he is one of the best writers in the world, and it has been an honor to, um, to sit beside him and build all these worlds together. Um, I need to thank Shane there, okay, um, who, as he said, gave us our first break in drama, um, commissioning Dead Set. Who would ever commission that? A thriller set in the Big Brother house, what a fool, um, which, as he said, led to Black Mirror. Uh, yeah, all of that. Um, I would also like to thank Cindy Holland and Peter Friedlander at Netflix. Um, Oh, sorry, uh, for uh, taking a small idiosyncratic Channel 4 show and turning it into a global hit and not uh, wanting to interfere with its creative DNA at all. Um, I would like to thank uh, uh, Joe Kay and Holly Sait, heads of production, who uh, have built all these shows that you've seen on the VT. Um, on a personal level, I would like to thank my mum and dad who are here um, with me tonight um, for all their love and support and pretending that they like every um, episode of Black Mirror, <laughs> even the one with the pig. Uh, that's a sign of real love, I think. Um, to my partner, Craig, um, who is always there for me and, um, and for our three beautiful children, uh, to Arthur, B and Magnus, who are watching this at home, I love you and put your phones down. Have you not seen Black Mirror? Come on, have I not taught you anything? Um, and finally, to BAFTA Cymru for um, this award. Uh, this girl from a very small town in West Wales, Milford Haven, laugh everyone, um, is deeply, deeply honoured. So thank you so much. Thank you.
Oh, congratulations to Annabelle. I actually met her in a nail salon in West London on Friday. <laughs> Amazing roster of work, but a very, very nice girl as well. Well done, Perrin. She's lovely. Uh, presenting the BAFTA Cymru Award for Actress is Star of His Dark Materials, Saint Maud and The Lord of the Rings, The Power of the Ring. It's the talented Moravid Clark. Thanks, Alex. These performances encompass a broad range of strong characters and difficult themes. Abandonment, control issues, harsh discoveries, anxiety and insecurity, as well as wonderful moments of joy, laughter and bravery. These women have embraced roles that both challenge and inspire. Gadewchinigal Kepolog ar yr enwebiadau. What do you think she was called? Who? That sausage that used to be a pig. Don't be disgusting. I'm guessing it's she. Could have been a he, but let's go with she. I'm getting that vibe from her. Like a sort of psychic connection. Barbara? Why is it always about you? I'm meeting people. I'm making friends. <sighs> you know what? You should get out in the world, too. I know how much you love me. And I... I know you did everything you could. I think the world is do anything for you. Nithid Eu, Amelia Jones for Coda. Um, unfortunately, Amelia can't be with us, so I will get this for her. Thank you so much. Right. Now, the on da, the Montreal category event. Uh, and here to present the next two categories with their own special flair is Welsh drag queen, model and presenter, Tace. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Thank you, Alex, for that marvellous introduction. 18 categories in the audience have gone from heart to heart masses. <laughs> Still fabulous, though. Well... Nah, you're all right, I'm joking. So the next category is director fiction. Making it up as they go along, I mean, don't we all? These directors make it feel real, baby. So let's take a look at the nominees, shall we? What we have here is a pattern. A pattern of events with a clear OCG signature. And in each case, there is a failure to investigate properly. Now, why is that, Detective Superintendent Buckles? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You're the senior detective! You're trying to make these offences fit the usual processes, but they won't. They just won't. And the effort of trying to force them to fit is killing you. Fair. Then something's got to change. I left you crying at the table alone, but not for long. Thank you. If Come you don't for everything. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh my goodness, gorgeous. Did you feel that? It felt so real. I almost believed it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Wow, the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Molly Manners for In My Skin. Yes, baby. Come on. Get your ass up, yeah, girl. Come on, baby. Congratulations. Um, wow, really should have listened to Kaylian written a speech. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess this is all for you, Kaylee. Thank you so much for everything, everything you've done for everybody. You've, you raise women up, you tell your real story in such a moving way, and you trust people, and it's been such a privilege to be on this project. I never cried more than reading your script for the BBC Comedy Slice that we made, um, and it's one of the proudest moments of my life to get up here, having done it, hopefully, a little bit of justice. I wanna thank all of the people who worked so hard, the cast, Gabrielle Creevy, Joe Hartley, all of the lovely cast here today, and um, the amazing team behind the camera that brought this together, Neris Evans, you're incredible. Um, thank you for trusting me with it, and uh, Chris Sabagal for making it look beautiful. Joe Randall Cutler for making all the rushes fit together in a cohesive form to make a program. Um, uh, Rachel Sheridan for your amazing casting. And also for, um, just to say thanks to my husband for uh, supporting me and letting me go out and do fun things like this. Thanks very much. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. BAFTA Cymru are really treating you guys tonight with a double dose of <gasps> me. <laughs> As I also get to present the next award for Director Factual. Factually correct, these directors work hard to keep it real, real hard. Let's take a look at the nominees. Today, the name of the game is recruitment. Men, we need you. We particularly need bottom bases. And if you can get a few people to sign up on the bottom line, that would be great. Wear your shirts with pride and we'll give them what for so they know exactly where we come from. When the police began their investigation, there was pressure on them to find the culprit. Police have now been interviewing Lynette's boyfriend, 21-year-old Stephen Miller. I kept saying I was not there. You were there that well, night? I was not there. You After 10 me. months, the pressure was on them to get a result, which is a totally different thing. We knew he, he didn't do it. No. So we honestly thought, no, he's not going to get charged. They're going to question him. He'll be home. And then I thought, well, knowing South Wales police reputation, then we were scared then, then we were really scared because we knew pretty much what they're capable of. And the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Dylan Williams, E. Cord, Man Who Sing. I mean, you can keep clapping, but there's no point because they're not here. But you know what? It doesn't matter because I'm going to take it home for them. See you later. Bye. Well, I was trying to watch the clips, but my eye was drawn to taste. It's amazing. Amazing. Anyway, Nguabur Ola. Now, to present this award, we have one of our most accomplished actors. We loved him in sex education, and he'll soon be time-travelling as the new doctor. Please welcome BAFTA Scotland winner, Shitty Gatwa.
goodness. Hello, BAFTA Cymru. As, as a Scot, it is such an honour to be at a fellow Celtic BAFTA ceremony. Come on. And hearing the Welsh language spoken in its all its glory is so beautiful. I have no idea what's been said tonight, but happy to be here. Uh, whether you are bringing a new character to life or stepping into the shoes of a globally loved and recognised character, which is quite nerve-wracking, by the way, an actor's job is to connect with an audience and to draw them in so they become emotionally involved in their story. Let's take a look at some of the outstanding performances by our nominated actors this year. Thirty grand. Thirty big ones. That's six British winters on an Aussie beach. <laughs> That's money down the drain, mate. You come in your bad and you go out worse. It's money down the drain. And everybody knows it. But everyone keeps stop. This family has been through enough. Your superiors won't even let me bury my son. I have to hold a memorial without a body. I'm sorry. But in a murder investigation, we can't release the body. Louis grieving her nephew. All I'm asking is for you to show some compassion. I'm not a stallion. <laughs> Who can say that again? I've had my moments, haven't I? <laughs> Still uh, having a bit of fun now, aren't we? The thing is, Lizzie, you were right about me. I have done something. I couldn't say anything because the way I saw it, if I told anybody what I did, the police would arrest me again. And the award goes to Owen Teal for Dream Wars. Wow. Wow, yeah, our Dioch O'Gallan. Um, yeah, it's, uh, there's no need for this. <laughs> Being nominated is enough to be recognized in your home like I feel right now and to be nominated amongst such a wonderful company. And you saw the talent there. Wow, yeah, yeah, Eddie and, and Aiden. Sean, I, I, I'm absolutely blown away. Um, let's try and say some thank yous, yeah? That's what you do, isn't it? And that's what I'm going to do now. There's Catherine Butler, who's here, I know, produced and, and, and nurtured this story from a very early stage. And then everybody that came along with that, and Tracy's here, Tracy O'Rodden. Uh, Piers isn't here, Piers Velicott. He did threaten physical violence if I didn't mention him. He's one of the producers, so there, we've got that out of the way. That's great. That's marvelous. What a director, Iris Lynn. Um, and to tell, you know, a story that is real and so relatable, you know, to us here and across the world. I'll never forget being uh, at the uh, Sundance where it premiered in America. And that thing of, when, you know, are they going to feel it? Are they going to get it? But it's amazing to be in a room of people and at the end, from all over the world, probably catching COVID, but um, that's another story. But there we were all in a room, and by the end, everybody's saying, come on, dream. Come on, dream. And that unifying sense of community that happened to those people in Kevin Forrest, I hope we did justice to um, Brian was a particular, <laughs> was a long shot for me. Um, coming to think of it, I've got some dental work tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> uh, I might give Brian a ring, yeah. Got to have some teeth out. Um, I'm absolutely blown away, and along with saying thank you to everybody and to my fellow actors, you know, I mean, Tony Collette and Damien Lewis and 
all, all of us, the, the, the Welsh crowd keeping everybody entertained, singing um, in between takes. It was, it was an incredible experience, but you have, to, you have to thank your family if they're there for you. And my family is so there for me. My wife, Sylvester, is here tonight. And we've, you know, I just feel so supportive of them and I feel their support as I stand here now. Um, and along with thanks, I'd just like to say that um, let's try and be kind. It would be a big thing, I think, if we could set that as a default setting that we go out into the world with a bit more kindness. It's not always the appropriate response to things that happen to you, but it's a great way to start out. And I'd like to, if you'll forgive me, um, I'd like to dedicate this moment also to a friend who needs a bit of kindness, and that's Tony Dyer. You probably don't know him, but believe you me, he's worth it. Thank you. A lovely sentiment there from Owen. Congratulations and Diolchevedi Shuti. Well, we've come to the end of the BAFTA Cymru Awards. Llong gyfarchair y mawr un hynnychwyr ac i'r holl enwebion. A diolchefyd i bawb o fi'n rhan o'r noson. Thanks to our event partners and sponsors. Ready for the list? Gorilla, Bardwolf, Cardiff Council, EE, Eric James Travel Services, IJPR, Mad Dog 2020 Casting, Mark German and Screen Skills, and our core fundraisers, BBC Cymru Wales, Channel 4, ITV Wales, SPDRC, and Welsh Government via Creative Wales. What a wonderful night of celebration it's been. We hope you've all enjoyed, whether you're here in the venue or watching at home. Now, if we get out of here quick, we'll still make it to Chippy Lane. <laughs> Have a lovely night. Thank you so much for having me. Nostar, and we'll see you next year. <laughs>